Greetings, kindred. I am Voivode Maquette, and welcome back to our World of Darkness and the Blood Sorcery Rituals playlist, where today we're going to start on the level four rituals that are found in the core book of Vampire the Masquerade 5th Edition. Specifically, we're going into Defense of the Sacred Haven. This is a classic. This is something that most Tremere will end up taking. And a lot of people I have seen have taken this as just a, the Chantry needs it. Uh, but this is not specifically dedicated to just a Chantry. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the book says. The performer of this powerful ritual can ward their haven against the sun itself, protecting their resting place from penetration by its destructive rays as a mystical darkness blankets the area. So in other words, what you're using is thaumaturgical obtenebration. You are creating a shadow barrier between the sun and your haven. And if you have windows in your haven that are open to, fuel, to full light, the sun, you can see out, but you can't see in. You can't actually have the light come in. The room will always stay dark, no matter how many windows there are, as long as the rituals are performed on this ritual. Now, that being said, there is argument, and I cannot wait to go into the system and the process and the details of this to find out if it's true. But if a hole is blown in the wall, if the ritual, if the room is properly ritually prepared, the sun should still not be able to come through that hole. So the ingredients that you need to perform this ritual are nothing but the blood of the caster. So that's pretty easy. As long as you know the ritual, you should be able to do this without a problem. There's no specific any things that you need. I personally always think a paintbrush comes in handy when it comes to these kind of things. The process says the caster inscribes a number of sigils and glyphs on and around the area to be protected. They must take special care on windows and doorways, but may even ward an open doorway if the area is indoors. The ritual wards gray or liminal areas such as ruins at storyteller discretion. This is exactly what I'm talking about. If you're in an area that is open to the sun, this can still work. It's definitely a breach of the masquerade because the sun is not penetrating anything. But this is saying ruins, so like areas that have holes in the walls and even the ceiling will refuse to allow sunlight to penetrate. And that's just damn cool. The system states, the process takes an hour or more depending on the state of the area to be warded. The area can be no larger than a circle with a six meter radius. The ritual automatically fails if the caster steps out of the area at any time after the warding is complete. The caster makes the ritual roll once the sun rises and on a win, shadow blankets the area, closing off any view of the outside, but also preventing any sun damage to the vampire within. On a critical win, those inside can spy the outside world dimly. The ritual lasts through an entire day unless ended by the caster stepping outside the area. So in other words, this ritual, much like a lot of rituals, only lasts for one day. This is why the Tremere travel in packs. <laughs> the idea of, hey, you, ward the rooms, that's what you're doing tonight. Like, if you have seven apprentice vampires who all have this power, you can go, Monday it's your job, Tuesday it's your job, and so on. This is something that, like, it's a pain in the ass, but it's definitely worth it. But also take in consideration that the caster has to sleep in the area where it is happening. And it can only have a six meter circumference. That's pretty big, but it's not that bad considering. This is a fairly limiting ritual. I do, however, like the fact that it does clarify that on a critical win, you can see outside the windows. I never realized that that was blocked. 
As a person who does not spend as much time with blood sorcery as some others, I did not realize that. I thought it stopped light from getting in and you could see out the windows just fine. This blankets it so much to the point where they can't even see out the windows. But on a critical, it is dim enough to be able to see what's going on outside. So it's pretty interesting. I like this ritual. I like the details that it's added in fifth edition because it was always so obscure that people just kind of did this in the Chantry once and left it forever. And there was nothing to stop it from, you know, going bad and stop working. So what do you guys think of the details of Defense of the Sacred Haven? Do you think that it's too limiting? Do you think that that it's it's good the way that it is? Because I, I personally like it. I think that Thaumaturgy should be a pain in the ass. As somebody who who thinks that, like... There, there's so many people who think that magic is just the answer. You know, it's just going to be simple. But shutting curtains can actually work too. Having a room without windows is something that works too. And those are mundane ways of handling things. Sometimes magic is just not worth the time or effort. But let me know what you think about that. I am Voivode Maquette. This is Our World of Darkness. And thank you for joining me in this review of Defense of the Sacred Haven on the Blood Sorceries Rituals playlist. Class dismissed.